Hi, my name is Rob Smucker, and I want to thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about how to attach a sponge weed wiper to a typical sprayer boom. Before we go into how to install a sponge weed wiper on your sprayer boom, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about the history of weed wipers and their uses in agriculture today. Weed wipers are a great tool to use late in the season when you have weeds that are escaping and getting taller than your canopy, especially with resistant weeds. What the wipers allow you to do is to go in there and apply the chemical of your choice directly to those weeds without getting any chemical on the, your crops below. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your sponges wet. When they're dry, they're very hard and hard to maneuver. So once you get the sponges wet, they're going to be easier to work with. Now we're going to talk about how to um, attach what we call our risers. The PVC risers simply attach to each 30 inch sponge section here but probably the most important thing to understand is we want to make sure that your product holes that are filling the sponge are in the right direction. What you want to do is find the blue line on the caps. The blue line on the cap indicates in the sponge where the small holes are. There'll be a line of holes about every four inches all the way across your weed wiper sponge. Once you've figured out where your holes are, it's very important that when you install on your sprayer, that you look in the direction that we're going to be weed wiping. On this particular sprayer here, we're going to be wiping this direction. So I'm going to take this hole, and I'm going to make sure when I attach this that it's going in the upward position and towards the direction we're going. So if you're looking at it from the side here, it's going to be at that 1 o'clock position all along the front face of the sponge facing the direction that you're going. The reason why it's important uh, to line up those holes is because when, you're, when you turn on your pump, it's going to be squirting the material from the inside out. And we want that material to be going uh, up into the direction you're going so that as you're going through the field and wiping through the field, the majority of the chemical is going to be right on the front face of the weed wiper. I'm going to encourage you to read the operating instructions in your owner's manual that came with your kit because it's very important to understand that you're not going to be filling these sponges continuously. It's going to be an on-off method based upon how, how heavy your weeds are and how uh, full or empty these sponges are. If you're ready to put the risers on, it's important to know that you do not glue these pieces. You simply slide them on, use a rubber mallet or a hammer, tap them on, and then if you look inside there, the end of the cap should be um, line up to right to the halfway point on the riser. This will allow these risers to be every 30 inches. section ready to be put on, take the red caps off, slide the risers up through the square tubing, and then you have a jam nut and a jam bolt to hold this in parallel sponge all the way across. It's important to have the same measurement from here to here. I just use my hand in this case to measure um, the approximate distance there. Same thing here. I've got an even distribution. Run your sponges all along your boom. Mounted to your boom. We're going to talk now about how to plumb it into a typical sprayer nozzle. In this kit, you've been given these T-Gen adapters, and what they do is they simply attach to the nozzle body, and it converts it to quarter-inch push-to-connect fitting. Plumbing is really simple. Then, what you do is you cut short chunks of the block tubing that's involved here. Literally push it into the fitting. If you see here, once I push that in, you cannot pull it out. It won't leak. The only way to get it out is if you hold the gray ring down, the tubing comes out. You're going to adapt, uh, connect to the T-Jet nozzle adapter and then simply find the closest T-Jet nozzle body. We've also included caps and in this case where we're using this tip right here, we're not using this tip. You simply take your cap and cap off the tips that you're not using. There are extra sponges in your kit um, to solve situations like this where you're going to come short you're about a foot short here and you don't want to have a gap of the sponge sections. So I'm going to show you at this point, the pivot point where the, the wing folds. Um, I'm going to show you how you can overlap the sponges and cover this area. And you can see where we were short coming up to this wing break situation. Instead of missing that last one foot, now we're able to put another 30 inch section that's included in your kits with two extra brackets and have a 30 inch section on this side of the boom so that you have no missing spaces. Hold up the sprayer 
It's a very simple process. You don't need to remove the brackets. You can simply do the jam nuts, pull the sponge section out, undo the plumbing, fold up your sprayer, and go down the road. Once you've put this 30 inch section on the front side of the boom and you're ready to move on and finish the boom, you simply start the next section. Again, in this case, on the back side of the boom, make sure you have enough overlap of the sponge so you're not missing any weeds and you can pick up where you left off. Watching this video. Um, again, I want to encourage you to read your owner's manual. There's very good operating instructions and installation instructions to refer to. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact your local dealer or contact us uh, by visiting our website at smucker.net.